What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. Today you can see I'm finally home. Feels good to be home. Unfortunately this weekend didn't go the way we planned it to. You know, we're trying to get at least a top 3, top 4 finish. And things just didn't go our way. We ended up placing 7th slash 8th. And you know, it just wasn't the best. Usually I like to do these videos after events. You know, talk about the event. Talk about what we did right, what we did wrong. You know, what we went through. Just kind of express myself through these videos. You know, I always like to do them. And before I start this video, I just want to say yes, I'm wearing a hat. My hair is all crazy out. So let's begin the video. So we went to the event. In my opinion, we went a little bit unprepared. Now the reason why is because there were some days where we missed practice. There were some days where we didn't practice. And there was days where, you know, like, you know, John wasn't answering or he, he got on late or he, he, he overslept from playing all day. Or Slasher had his finals, you know, he had to study for his test or he would get on later. And it, it's not obviously their fault because... I mean, it is a little bit like in there was days where I think I'm probably missed a day or two. But, you know, like all of that adds up. And those are days we could have practiced more. Those are days we could have put in more time. So with that being said, I felt like we were a little bit unprepared. I felt like there was definitely we could have put in a little bit more practice. Probably would have helped us a little bit more. Not saying it might have changed the outcome this weekend, but it possibly could have because we would have had more, you know, experience, more knowledge, more teamwork, whatever the case is. We were working on a lot of things. A lot of you guys know when we first started this league, uh, the CDLBL, we were a little bit rocky. Our SD game was really weak. We've improved in SD a lot. Our gameplay is starting to be a lot more consistent. We fixed a lot of our mistakes. But obviously, there's always something to fix. There's always, there's always room to get better. But going into the event, you know, I still felt pretty prepared other than what I just said. You know, obviously, like, I felt a little bit unprepared. But overall, like, I felt good. I felt like we still put in a little practice. A lot of practice, we still, I still felt like we put in the work, we fixed a lot, a lot of mistakes. So going to the event, you know, I was hoping for at least a top three, top four finish. Go hard, you know, try our best. Our first match was against Cole. We won 3-0. It was a little sloppy here and there. There's some rounds in SD, some parts in uplink. We could have won by more. So it was a little bit sloppy at times, but we secured a 3-0, right? Then after that, we ended up playing DT. Now we knew going against DT, they like to cause chaos. Like the way they play, their play style, you know, they ban weird shit, they ban stuff we're not used to, or they will use smokes in CTF and, and even a hard point and stuff like that. And like when you smoke a CTF flag, there's not, if they're like in your base and they smoke the flag, it just causes so much chaos, right? They, they can grab the flag and you can't even shoot them. It just, it's really inconsistent. So we ended up winning the hard point. Uh, I believe they won the SD, it was close. We won the uplink, they won the CTF, and we ended up going last map. Uh, we won last map 6 3. So we're happy about that, you know, securing that win that was big because we wanted to get first in our pool. Getting first in your pool usually equals you playing not the best team if you get out in your pool. So when we woke up in the morning, we saw that we had to play Splice. Splice got into our pool, Pool D, which was kind of like the dead pool or the second hardest pool. And, you know, obviously they're like the top two, top three EU team right now. So we knew that we had to come out hot. We obviously know like what we're made of. We know our potential. We know that we can be great. So we knew we had to come out hot, we knew we could beat them, and getting that 3-0 secure in our pool is really big, and that first seed is really big. So we ended up beating them 3-0. The hard point, we pretty much destroyed them. The s and I think, was a little bit close, and the uplink was a little bit close. But overall, we secured the 3-0. We are 3-0 in our pool. You know, we felt great. We are like, yes, like, this is great. Now we're going to play. We're a top 12, technically, and we're going to play. We, we thought we were going to play a decent team for top 6, but not the best, one of the best teams, right? Because usually... That's how it works. So at first we thought we were going to play Pool A. So it was most likely going to be C9. We thought it was going to be Pool A versus Pool D. And then Pool B versus Pool C. But I guess they always change it up at events. It's never always consistent. So I didn't really know that. But that's usually how it goes. So we ended up playing, I believe, Pool B, which is Rise's Pool. So we had to play Pool. It was Pool B versus Pool D, which we were in Pool D. So we ended up having to play either Rise or Infused. Now these two teams are very, very good. Rise, obviously... Top two, top three uh, NA team. Uh, Infused, probably another top two, top three U team. So when Rise lost to Infuse and they got second in their pool, we're like, fuck, we got to play Rise. And that's exactly what happened. We had to play Rise for top six. On top of that, like, Jesus. Like, we, we thought, you know, getting that three on their pool was huge. If we would have got, if we would have lost to Splice, the funny part is, we would have got on the other side of the bracket. And probably played uh, Infused or Millennium. I don't. I don't know. I think it was Infused uh, for for top six. <coughs> I 
But still, you know, we kept our composure. We knew we had this. We knew we could do this. We obviously knew they're a very strong team. We had Stronghold, Hardpoint, first map. Uh, Rise are really, really, really good on that map. Let me tell you something. That is probably one of their best hard points. They know how to control everything. The ARs do such a good job of controlling the map, controlling what they need to control. The subs do a great job controlling what they need to control. So we knew it was going to be hard. Uh, me and John did not play well that map at all. Slasher and JCap held their own. Me and John uh, played really well. And due to that, I mean really bad. And due to that, we almost came back. We were down by like 100, 120. We, we lost by like 50 points. But in the end of the day, like my me and John's performance uh, really costed us that first map. Going to second map, um, you know, it was S and D. We knew S and D was a little bit a little bit harder for them because they're kind of like us. Their S and D game is not that strong, and I think our S and D game has improved a lot. So going to that map, we knew I felt like we could win this. We started off a little rocky. It was just kept we kept trading rounds one one. They were up we're down one two. Then it's, we're up three two. And Looney got a 1v2 Ninja Diffuse that he should have not got. Uh, I was... I t so what happened was, I kind of could see the bomb, and I saw the bomb move, but I still saw the bomb on the floor. I guess I completely forgot how Call of Duty is. Usually when you pick up the bomb, uh, it kind of disappears, I guess, or it moves. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I take that to blame. Uh, Looney got a 1v2 Ninja Diffuse. That was my fault. I should have checked it better. And then, you know, we, we were up like 5-4 at one point. They win it. They win that round. A round they shouldn't have won either. And then we went 5-5. Slasher pulls out first blood. Uh, I challenged Slack up top broken. He was just laying down. Gets a free kill on me. Runs around. John's chasing him. I think John dies too. It was just really chaotic. Uh, John didn't even get to use his heat wave. And it, it just sucks. It was really unfortunate that the rounds, the round, last rounds went that way. That map could have been ours. And we could have ended up winning the series 3-1. Uh, a lot of mistakes were made, but, you know, I guess it's better to make them now than coming up these next, these bigger events like Season 2 Finals, Champs. So we ended up losing the Search, and then the Uplink, uh, we won, I don't know, by like 5 points. I don't even know how, I think the Uplink was actually pretty close, but we won by like 3-4 points. Then the CTF, we won like 5-0 Stronghold, it went to the last S&D, uh, we started off pretty good. And then we just slowed down. We gave them so many rounds. We It was so many 1v1s, 2v2s. We had like a, a 3v2. It was so many rounds that should have gone our way. And it's so, so, so unfortunate that it didn't. It went down to 5-5. Five, five. Uh, they were up 3-5 at one point, right? We, they, we were, we, they won like four rounds in a row. It's, it sucks, but it is what it is. And we're down 3-5. We ended up winning two rounds in a row, make it 5-5. Five, five. And then they just clutched the 5-5. We played it pretty dumb, and they ended up winning the match. So we ended up losing Rice 3-2. You know, we knew it was heartbreaking, but there's nothing else we can do. We're still in the tournament. We're in loser's bracket now. We knew the next morning, you know, we have to wake up with the fire, go hard, play our game, and just not give up. So we played Lethal Gaming for top 8, which was Mochilla's team. We knew, like, this is not... They obviously could pull some shit out their ass, but we felt really confident going into this match. Uh, we won 3-0. The hard point was about like 100 point, 100, we like 50 point clubbed them. The S and D was like 6-3, and the the uplink was like 25 to one. So it, we knew it was gonna be a pretty easy match. No offense to them, they were obviously been a team longer, we're more prepared, and we just knew it was gonna be an easy match. So we won that match, and we had to play LG for top six. It was either gonna be DT or LG. Uh, DT lost, so we had to play LG for top six. Now, LG's a, a pretty solid squad. I do consider them. I don't know if I talked about this in the video or probably in my stream once, but they're definitely, I think they're up there in like the top four, top five teams. Like they can, I definitely think they could compete with like around there. So I knew going to that match, it wasn't going to be that easy. Uh, we obviously had to go hard and we ended up losing to them 3-1. The hard point, John and Slasher, you know, just struggled a little bit. It's unfortunate. Uh, I remember Nameless was using the Havoc, the HVK. And Slasher was just using an M8 or something. He kept getting melted. It's I kind of understand because it, like Evac is usually close range gunfights. So if Nameless is just melting him with the HVK and killing our subs, it's kind of hard to stop him. And then John just started had a, a pretty slow map as well. So JCap actually went off that map. He went like positive ten. I did like average. And it just sucks, you know. We we couldn't get anything going that first map. Uh, then the S and D, they won I think 6-0, I got 0 kills, so I actually got like 1 kill, Jcap got like 2-3 kills, John got like 5, you know, we just, we didn't get, we didn't get anything going, 
Or like, I, I hate that we always do this to ourselves. Like, I don't know if it's only this team, but I've had teams like this in the past where we put ourselves in the hole. Like the first map, we always struggle, you know, against like a top four, top five team. It's a hard point. I mean, we it just we need to be more consistent. Like we struggle, then the S and D comes, and then if we lose that first map, then it's kind of hard to like bring that momentum back up. I don't know, man. I gotta I gotta bring the hype or something. But we went down 0-2. Uh, we knew we could come back. We've done it before. We knew our uplink and CTF game is really strong. The uplink game, we won by like four, I believe, like three, four points. It was pretty close to uplink. But like, all right, let's go. We got this. And then it went to the CTF fringe. Um, the CTF fringe, they just played it well. Uh, again, we just weren't getting kills. Um, you know, it's it, it hurt us all event. I know Slasher was kind of sick. Uh, it's like Thursday, he was fine. And then Friday, he literally like his voice was basically lost like he lost his voice you can still he can still talk but it's really like raspy and like low like it was hard to understand him but obviously you know he had to call out and we could still hear him but it's hard for him to communicate a lot and i don't, I don't want to make excuses but you know him being sick didn't help at all uh, especially when it came down to communication usually he communicates a lot he's definitely one of our top communicators like he's like him and jcap communicate the most i communicate more at events but you know, having Slash communicate more is a lot, is, is very good. And he just wasn't there when it came down to communication. He obviously, like I said, he was sick, so it was hard for him to communicate. And on top of that, I just felt like we we're a little bit unprepared. Uh, we didn't, we didn't perform what we needed to. You know, there's always some, one of, one of us going negative, uh, double negative, negative 10, you know, just shitting the bed for our team in these, in these matches against Ryze and LG. There was always one of us. And, I understand it's gonna happen here and there, but it just it can't happen every map, you know. You have to at some point, you know, per perform well and be consistent because that's what you expect from every individual player. So LG ended up beating us 3-1. It was unfortunate the way things ended. Uh, we definitely thought we had the potential to make it at least top four, top three, and it just sucks. We couldn't make the run. Uh, GG's to LG. They're obviously a really good squad, you know. I definitely consider them a really good team. And it just showed that, you know, we need to put in more time. We need we need to work on things. We need to stop slacking. We need to improve S and D. Like there's so much room for improvement. And I myself, you know, am not happy at all from seven eighth. Like that was really disappointing. I wanted to uh, finish off strong. I wanted to get like a top three, top four finish, like I said, at least. And to play seventh slash eighth is just disappointing, very disappointing. Um, you know, I like I, I always when I lose I always feel like I could have done more I definitely think I also need to start like even though I'm not I've not always been the hype man on land But I definitely think I need to start bringing that more the energy and the positive vibes on land You know this event like I was like semi hype, but I was never really like hype type and like communicating like crazy Like going loud and getting loud, but I think I still need I need to start doing that for my team Sometimes just to get them going get that flow going if we're down, you know 50 points and hard point you know, I got to make sure and reassure my team that we got this. You know, I got to bring those positive vibes. I got to bring that energy. You know, we're down by 80 points in hard point, but Slasher gets a three-piece. I'm like, nice, good shit, Slasher. And, you know, just get that positive reinforcement. And I definitely think I'm going to start doing that more again. I used to do that on my old team. And I don't know if it's because it, it was our first land together, but, you know, sometimes being too hyped could be a bad thing. So I try, I never try. I, I've been lately, like, trying to conceal myself a little bit more, but I definitely think I'm going to start doing that. Uh, with season two finals coming up, that is our goal to to win it, hopefully. But if not, you know, just perform our best. Go there prepared. The main thing is go there prepared. Go there like we feel like we feel like we could win it. You know that we put in the time, that we put in the work, and we have a lot of work to do. So you guys are gonna see us practicing a lot more, uh, fixing our mistakes, and hopefully, you know, I can show you guys that Envy is a top contender team. A lot of you guys probably believe so. You know, we lost, ended up losing to Rise and LG. Um, it is what it is, but hopefully next event we could turn some heads around, you know, just like shoo. Either way, guys, thank you for watching the whole video. If you did, always appreciate the support. You guys were amazing this weekend. Met a lot of people from my stream, uh, just fans in general. Thank you all for coming, you know, for saying hi and everything. It was nice meeting you guys. And until next time, I don't know if I'll see you guys in Season 2 Finals or whoever's going or if you see me on the live stream. You know what it is, but thank you all for support. Thank you all for the tweets, everything. It was amazing. Uh, I I individually performed pretty well, but there was some inconsistency with myself. Like like I said, there was some maps where I didn't play too well. Just keep going hard, keep improving. And this has been your boy Apathy. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'm out.
Peace.